So this is one of two videos on in, uh, inverses of relations and functions, specifically writing inverse functions by using um, opposite or inverse operations. So there's both single and multi-step versions of these types of questions. So for the first one, it says find the inverse of f of x is equal to 3x. The key to understanding what an inverse even is, is that it's a reflection of your equation over the line y is equal to x. So to find the inverse first, you need to take f of x out and put y in its place. So now we get y is equal to 3x. The second thing is to switch the x and y. Nothing else should change, just the x and y should change locations. So the 3 would still stay in its location, where it's currently at, and then the number or the letter variable next to it will become a y instead. The next thing that you do is you solve for y or for the new location of y. So in this case, we have x is equal to 3y. Well, to get rid of the 3 that is being multiplied to y, you're going to do the opposite, which is division. Now we have x divided by 3 is equal to y. The last step is to rewrite using f inverse of x. So that gives us f inverse of x is now equal to x divided by 3. The original and the new are inverses. When we graph them, you will understand what I meant by is a reflection of the reflection over the line y is equal to x. So for the second one, it's multi-step, so it says find the inverse of f of x is equal to 5x minus 7. So again, the first step stays the same. We change it to y is equal to 5x minus 7. The second step is to flip the locations of the x and y. And then the third step is to solve for y. So we're going to start by adding 7. So you get x plus 7 is equal to 5y. Divide by 5. And you'll get that y is equal to x plus plus 7 divided by 5. The final step is to change it to the uh, f inverse, so f inverse of x is equal to x plus 7 divided by 5. The inverse symbol is a negative 1 um, as an exponent, so it's not technically the same concept as what you guys are used to with negative exponents, it's just saying that the function is the inverse of the original. Okay, so your two u tries are to find the inverse of f of x is equal to x minus 4, and then also to find the inverse of f of x is equal to x divided by 2 plus 6. So just so you can see this one a little bit better, f of x is equal to x divided by 2 plus 6. Remember that you are using opposite operations in order to cancel items out. So addition and subtraction goes together, and division and multiplication goes together. Okay, that's the end of the first of the two videos.